ever wonder why you can't kick those few extra pounds? Do you feel sluggish, depressed, need a lot of caffeine? One reason could be that you're not getting enough sleep. I know, duh. But if you're a heavy user of technology, those screens you're constantly staring at, they can cause chronic sleeplessness that leads to a whole host of other problems. Obesity, heart disease, strokes, and depression. As Dr. Charles Seisler, a sleep researcher, writes in a recent study, technology has effectively decoupled us from the natural 24-hour day to which our bodies evolved, driving us to bed later, and up in the morning at the same time, meaning that as a whole, people are getting less and less sleep. In the US, 30% of adults reported that they get six or fewer hours of sleep per night. And our constantly connected, screen-heavy lifestyles are a major culprit. I had a gut feeling you would be online now. Why? The screens on most laptops, tablets, and phones produce a certain kind of light that's rich in blue and blue-green wavelengths. The light-sensitive cells on your eyes respond to this type of light most strongly, essentially telling your body to stay awake. This is a similar type of light to what is used on airplanes, which makes a lot of sense if you're a person that has trouble sleeping on planes. This artificial light diminishes the activity of the right neurons that tell you to fall asleep and suppresses the natural sleep hormone, melatonin. In layman's terms, it's seriously screwing up your sleep-wake cycle. Messing with your sleep cycle can also mess with your metabolism, causing you to put on weight that's hard to lose, not to mention all the health problems that can come with weight gain. So if you have trouble getting to sleep at night, it's a good idea to put the technology away an hour or so before bedtime and never bring it into bed with you. It might sound like common sense and it's easier said than done, but we can all use a reminder, myself included. If you're interested, there are also programs out there that can alter the light on your computer display. One of these is f.lux for iOS, Windows, Linux, and Mac. You can manually adjust the hue of your screen to a less harsh pinkish color, or you can set your location to do it automatically along with the hours of the day. For TFN, this is Annie. Be honest, do you sleep with your phone or tablet? Do you find yourself checking it in the middle of the night? Let us know in the comments.